Obviously, when we think MicroFlight, we think iPads, we think gadgets, we think wizardry, we think all kinds of really cool stuff. But it seems that you've had something uh, back in your mind that just needs to be seen. Tell me what you're up to next. Well, Jim, you know what? It's been an interesting experience bringing uh, iPad technology into the airplane, and then you realize that you've got all this valuable information, and we're still forcing pilots to look heads down. And isn't it about time we look at heads up and eyes out? So what are you going to do about it? You know what? So, Jim, we looked at how can we bring data and information to be right out in front of the pilot in today's modern world. And with the iPad, we end up with a technology that has some phenomenal capability to display wirelessly information out in front of us. So with panel data coming to the iPad, and now the iPad having the right computing and the right information in terms of charts and where we're going, we now have a way to project that using modern Pico projectors. And finally, I believe we will have a uh, heads-up display for the rest of us. So for the guys that can afford a $100,000, $150,000 unit and a dedicated panel system, there's been that market for a long time. Now there'll be a unit under $10,000 uh, available for the rest of us. Tell us a little bit about what this unit will do and where we may see it. So this unit uh, will be able to project an image out in front of the pilot, just like a traditional HUD would. It's got all the same components, projection, optics, screens, and the like. It'll have power, both battery and ship, and it'll have a wireless communication system that can either work from the panel or from uh, through an iPad or through a wired connection. And this is a model of that device. Where does it stand right now in regards to being able to get it to the market? Where are you at this point? So last year we brought to Oshkosh a unit that we call our working prototype. You know, something that we could make, we could prove to ourselves that the optics work, that the brightness levels are where they needed to be and the like. Over the last several months we've been working on things like case design and designing all the optics and the electronics. Uh, we have completed stage one of the case design and the mounting systems and we hope by Oshkosh this year to have a truly fully working prototype that then people, the developers and the avionics companies can see and look to find out how they can get their imagery and their data up onto that screen. So think of it as a secondary display device to every computer that's already on that airplane. Well, for every OEM is looking for the next big great thing, and let's face it, in the past, it's been those incremental leaps, disruptive leaps in technology that have typified the leading edge of general aviation here and there, where there was the introduction of glass panel, the introduction of various technologies. Uh, of course, the parachute technology is one and a number of others. This is the kind of thing that can once again disrupt the industry. For the OEMs that may be interested, how can they find out more about this? and? Uh, more important for the GA pilot out there who wants this technology, when, where, how? So for the uh, OEMs that are out there, whether you're an apps vendor, apps company, or you're a manufacturer, feel free to give me a call at my go flight, and we'll be happy to work with you to brief you on how to interface into this piece of technology, this piece of hardware. If you're an aviation consumer, if you are a GA pilot, speak to your apps vendor and say, hey, have you heard about this heads-up display from my GoFlight? And have you looked at how you can get your data and imagery onto that device? Or call up your panel manufacturer and do the same thing, or call your avionics shop. You know, let's get some interest going through that channel as well so that they'll know that when this product comes to market through them and with them, that there is an opportunity there for them with this device. Outstanding. Well, we look forward to seeing it in action and more important, flying it down the line. Very good, Jim. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... Explore No Limits Flying in the newly FAA-certified C-Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne C-Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.cray.com. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADSB ATX100 and ATX100G transceivers are the next gen ADSB solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at aspenavionics.com.